Alright, what's up guys, JSX here, back with another video, as you can see from the title right now, I'm about to be um, breaking down a question that I get pretty often, which is, people ask me what is better, barbell, bench press, or dumbbell bench press, and um, you guys have probably heard me say it before, but I personally do not bench press, um, I always do dumbbell, actually dumbbell incline if you want to be specific, so um, yeah, I'm just have some clips of me bench pressing and dumbbell pressing in the background. Y'all can watch that and listen to me, or if you just look at me and listen to me, well, you can do whatever you want at this point, as long as you're getting the information out of it, you're learning something, right? All right, so I'm gonna break it down into like sections, right? The first section is gonna be like safety. Me personally, I believe dumbbell press is safer, just for the fact that you can actually control each arm individually. Um, with bench press, you're kind of locked into that same position, so if you kind of move your shoulders in or out at all, you can end up hurting your um, shoulders. Yes, with dumbbell, you can end up coming back, coming down too low and tearing your shoulder, but most people do not do that. And also, like, if you're not, if you don't have a spotter, dumbbell press is definitely safer just for the fact that you can always just drop the weight, let go of the weight, versus barbell, um, down on your neck. You're dead right there. Um, so, if, especially if you don't have a spotter, I would say barbell. If you're a beginner, I might suggest barbell just for the fact that it kind of limits you um, from being able to, like, completely tear your rotator cuff. But if you, if you know what you're doing, right, me personally, I believe dumbbell press is safer just for that reason that you can actually control how your um, arms and shoulders is actually moving. Um, so yeah. The next point I would get into is like effectiveness. Um, like I was kind of saying before about the safety, barbell, it kind of limits you. It's just a movement just like this. You can't really move your elbows in or out or squeeze at the top or anything like that. I mean, you can squeeze at the top, but you can't like bring it in, if that makes sense. You guys saw it. It's like this, or you can bring it in. I think that is pretty clear. Um, but with dumbbell press, you can bring it down and bring it together, which will help you feel the squeeze more inside of your chest. Me personally, um, well, it's factual information. It's kind of like mixing a regular bench press with a fly because you bring it in and not just stop there, but squeeze it at the top. Um, so for effectiveness, I personally believe it is better. Also for the fact that it can help with unproportionate um, pecs. So like, if you're dominating your right arm, I always suggest to people, if you are if you realize you're dominant in one arm and like you can actually see a difference or feel a difference, to switch to doing all dumbbell movements just to make sure that both arms are doing the same amount of work. Um, versus like a barbell where you can use like most of your right arm to push it up and your left arm would just continue to be inside of like a, a slack of, a slack is, that's not a word, a slacking state, right? So um, for effectiveness, dumbbell wins again. Now if you really just want to like lift as much weight as possible, you, to be honest, you can't do that with dumbbell. Because um, if you, let's say you could bench 225 for 10. Most people will not be able to bench, um, what is, what is 225 divided by 2? 115, we'll say 115 in both arms for 10, just because you're able to bench 225 for 10. So it's not like, it doesn't evenly move over. So if you're bench pressing 300, you're not able to dumbbell press 150 for the same amount of reps, right? So if you really want, want to just like lift the heaviest weight possible, which I would not know why you want to do that, um, unless you're like a power builder or something like that. Power lifter, not power builder. Um, then I would suggest barbell if you really just want to be strong, you know, go to a girl and say, yeah, I bench press 575 for 12. They probably will not care about that. So that point is probably irrelevant at this point. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is a very biased video, just the fact that I always do dumbbell. But I also feel like most of the points that I'm making up is right. If you guys don't agree with me, you could leave, drop a comment down below right now and just go off on me and tell me, you're stupid, Josiah, you don't know what you're talking about. Bench press is so much better, it's much better for your uh, glutes, I don't Another pro, pros and cons for me, another pro for um, dumbbells is that um, you can't really cheat with it to say, because you know if you're bench pressing and you bring it down, you kind of bounce it off your chest at the bottom if you go all the way down, which I hope you are, because if you're not, you're not really doing a full rep. So make sure you're going all the way down, let the bar touch your chest if you're doing bench press. But with bench press, you can kind of bounce it off your chest, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, not that we cheat or anything like that, it's just, it might happen sometimes. Um, 
But yeah, you can kind of cheat and bounce the bar off your chest. You can't really do that with the dumbbell because there's no bar in between. Now the range of motion, I feel like the equal because um, you can really go down. You're kind of limited where the bar goes on barbell because um, if it hits your chest, it's like as far down as you can go. But then again, no one's really going, well, it's not safe to go like all the way down here, you feel me, with a dumbbell. So the range of motion, I they're pretty much the same on that. So there's no like, who's better with range of motion, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, overall, I think dumbbell press is better for muscle growth, um, muscle activation, safety, um, all the things that I just talked about. Bench press is cool if you want to be super strong. Um, that's that's about all I think it has on dumbbell press. Now, like I said, let me know if this is a biased opinion, because I always do dumbbell, incline dumbbell. Incline is, I should make another video for this, so I can just say it right now. But if you're trying to like build your chest, make it look fuller, do incline. Flat bench is not really, it'll help, but incline will help you a lot more, no matter if you're doing incline barbell or incline um, dumbbell. So that's just an extra nugget in there. But that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you like dumbbell or barbell better and let me know why, just so you know, I can kind of open my eyes some more. So like, you guys can comment down below like other things that you think is better with barbell versus dumbbell and I'll read them, give you my thoughts on them. Yeah, so make sure to turn on post notifications and make sure to subscribe because we got bangers coming out all year long. No cap. I'm going to talk to y'all later, bro. See ya. See ya. That was so weird. I was about to press the button, but that was very weird. What I usually say, see out. There we go. That's it, friend.